and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Wednesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Dad. Tom. Have you seen Helen anywhere? Uh, she's at home this morning, meeting Kirsty to talk about the house. Oh, right. I'm just not sure which cheeses are going in the veg boxes and what she's holding back for next week or the Christmas fairs. I do not want to mess it up. Oh, you'll have to give her a ring. Yep, yep, OK, I'll do that. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Driving this tractor is giving my back a bit of bother. But at least it's not raining, eh? <laughs> oh, I hate lifting carrots when it's raining. Yeah. Well, why don't we swap? I'll do this and you finish the veg boxes. Oh, um, well, go on. OK, you drive, I'll supervise the followers. Some trays have had too many bunches this week. And let's get the job done before the rain. So how are you doing, Kirsty? Yeah, I'm good. House is quiet without my mother there. She's driving me a bit mad. Yeah, doesn't she always? I oh, don't mean that in a mean way. She's wonderful. She's just a bit extra, as the kids say. <laughs> she's extra, all right. <laughs> oh, she's completely convinced that me and Rex should get together. And she was trying all week to convince me too. No. Really? <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny. Oh, she wouldn't shut up about it. it but you've never been remotely interested, have you? In Rex? No, never. So then what's she on about? Oh, she just thinks she knows better than I do. I think she'd like to organise my entire life for me. Right. I mean, to be fair to her, I haven't done a brilliant job of organising things myself, so maybe she's got a point. What are you talking about? Oh, well, I was jilted by your brother and then I married Philip Moss, for goodness sake. No, she can't blame you for any of what happened with Philip or Tom, either. Oh, I made those choices, didn't I? Look how it turned out. Maybe she's right. Maybe someone else should choose me a husband next time. A husband? Oh, yeah, she literally wants me to marry Rex. Well, yeah, that does seem quite mad. <laughs> she is a bit mad. <laughs> but the weird part, the really weird part, is now that she's gone, I keep looking at Rex in a slightly different way. Really? You should have heard him yesterday talking about beavers. Beavers? Yeah, I'll tell you about that in a minute. OK. But, like, you know when you dream about sleeping with someone? Um, Just bear with me. OK. I mean, when you dream about sleeping with someone that you've never been married to or gone out with, like someone random, mm -hmm. but you dream about them, and then it makes you look at them and see them differently. So you dreamt about sleeping with Rex? Is that what you're saying? No, no, just that my mother banging on about him means I now keep looking at him and thinking, well, maybe... OK, OK, I think we need a cup of tea for this. <laughs> or a gin. <laughs> I spoke to Susan in the dairy when I was trying to find Helen. She's seeing George tomorrow. She's not going on her own. No, no, Neil's going too. Oh, that's OK then. But apparently George has been refusing to see them. Yeah, I know. Susan was practically in tears about it last week. I just thought, what an ungrateful little... Yeah, but for some mysterious reason, he's changed his mind. She was so happy. Well, all for the good, I suppose. I mean, I was just standing there thinking, yeah, but he's awful. Yes, he is. He's going to let Alice go to prison. Now, when you think about Alice and Martha being separated for months, maybe years even... I just want to punch him. Honestly, don't get me started on George Grundy. Just don't. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to wind you up. Oh, that's fine. It's not you, is it? Well, changing the subject, not very subtly. <laughs> when does this new buck arrive? Uh, tomorrow should be. Do you know what sort of time? No idea. No, I promised Sarah and Nova I'd bring them over to see him when he arrives. Really? I mean, it's just a goat. A, a buck, as Henry keeps telling us. But to them... It's a billy goat, and they love the billy goat's gruff. They don't? Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so relieved. Relieved? Well, Helen told me on Sunday that her two never liked the billy goat's gruff. Really? Yeah. 
just made me a bit sad. Well, all I can say is that the billy goats gruff are massive in our house. That's very good to know, thank you. But also, I'm going to ask Helen why she didn't persevere with this seminal taste. You do that. <laughs> oh, could you also ask your mother how much she spent on the new buck? What? She won't tell me. Won't she? No, because uh, we had a bit of a disagreement. Huh? I thought we should just borrow one rather than blow hundreds of pounds. Oh, but it's so great that Henry's getting into goat breeding. It is, of course it is, but we didn't need to buy our own buck, did we? I mean, Henry might go off the whole idea in another six months. Yeah, but then again, he might not. This might be his calling. His calling? Well, you never know, do you? How are you two getting on? Oh, yeah, not bad. Uh, how about you? Well, at least bagging winter salad leaves and... I'm thinking I should start making this cake for Peggy. If it's going to be ready for this afternoon. OK. Just means leaving everything else. Well, it's all right. Oh, why didn't we just hire someone professional? To make the cake? Yes. Because you volunteered to bake one. I know, but why did I do that? I don't know. Your mother is a hundred today, which is amazing, and I think she needs an amazing cake, and now I've got four hours to make it happen. Well, you can do it, Mum. Oh, and Mum, before you go... Yeah. How much did Henry's new goat cost? Did he ask you to ask me that? Uh, no. And what about Eric? Eric? Well, where does he fit into all this? Well, he doesn't, does he? Eric is not a serious prospect, and I'm not remotely in love with him. But you're not remotely in love with Rex, either. True. Oh, this is a ridiculous conversation. You started it. Uh, also true. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Could get really complicated, couldn't it? Working together and everything. Oh, well, yeah. Anyway, we should talk about the house. Yep, we should. Although we should definitely revisit this conversation about Rex. Oh, honestly, it's nothing. We, we don't need to talk about it again. I need to talk about it again. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. No, you should. No, because now I'm going to have my mother in one ear and you in the other. <laughs> I just don't understand why it's a secret. It's not a secret. Then tell me. I mean, you could just look at the accounts. I could, but that feels sneaky. Not really? They are joint accounts. I know, but it, it feels sort of dishonourable. Yes, I think it would be kind of dishonourable. You are both insane. Thanks. It was £750. Seven hundred and fit for a goat? That is precisely why I didn't want to tell you. That's just how much they cost us. But we didn't need to buy one in the first place. OK. I need to make this cake. So let's talk about it later, yes? Well, it's too late now. You've bought the damn thing. It's going to be great, Tony. Trust me. Oh, and, and Susan's going to the prison to see George tomorrow, so she won't be coming in. Yeah, no, Tom told me. She said she might be able to do the afternoon, but she's not sure yet. Well, she may as well take the whole day, don't you think? I do, really. She might find it quite difficult. That's what I thought. For more reasons than one. Yeah, absolutely. OK, I really am going now. The cake will be great, Mum, don't worry. See you in a bit. OK. 750 quid. Let it go, Dad. Oh, oh. All right, can I talk to you about something else? Sure. I've been thinking for a while that I'd love to build an eco-house on Bridge Farm land. Really? Yes, I, I, I would love it. it. It's basically a kind of lifelong dream. A, a lifelong dream that you've never mentioned before or tried to make a reality? Well, I've been busy. Are you not still quite busy? Can you just shut up and listen? Sorry, carry on. I need to ask you something. And it's serious. OK. If... If I can make it happen, how would you feel about Helen moving into the farmhouse? Uh, oh, um... I don't know. Because we haven't really talked about this or, or talked about it properly in a long time. And I, I wondered, do you see yourself living with Natasha at the farmhouse? Uh, I don't know, Dad. I've honestly no idea. I don't really think that far ahead. It's just I get the impression this isn't actually something that Natasha would want, and maybe it is something that Helen would. Uh, I don't know. I just... Uh, I don't know. Oh, fine. 
don't worry. I, I just thought I'd ask. I, I wouldn't want you to feel less, you know, loved, I suppose. I mean, obviously, we make it fair somehow. Dad, Dad, no, stop. No, 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 we would. We, we'd make it right. Of course we would. It's just, I suppose, I, I worry about Helen. I, I just do. So do I. Okay. Well, we don't need to talk about it anymore. <clears throat> I mean, it's a bigger conversation for another day. Well, what does Mum think about you building an eco-house? Huh? Oh, well, yeah. You haven't talked to her yet? No, no, not yet. Interesting approach, Dad. Yes, well, well. The... How long have you two been married? Fifty years. Well, fifty years next month. And you still can't communicate. We communicate just fine. Ah, we do. I will talk to her. I will. Just haven't had a chance. Yeah, because you're only together what, twenty-four hours a day. Uh, no. You know what it's like, Tom. We're busy people and there's other things to talk about, like like my mother turning a hundred today, or, or newly arrived goats, or the end of the autumn squash, or, or beavers. Beavers? You haven't heard about the beavers? No. No, I haven't. I suppose what I'm really asking is whether you'd be willing to drop the price to cover some of the repairs. Right. I'm sorry, Kirsty. I know it's awkward, but we've got to be able to talk about it, haven't we? Yeah, of course we do, yeah. But the thing is, Helen, I don't think I can actually afford to do that. Really? Brenda's been in touch about Willow Farm. Oh? I've always asked her to handle the whole thing. But I thought he was selling directly to you. No, no. Brenda's put it on the market. Did I know that already? I don't know. I didn't realise it was all moving so quickly. Yeah. I mean, I've put a formal offer in... And I know that Roy would like me to get Willow Farm, so it should work out. But obviously I, I need to get everything sorted, because someone else could just come along any time and gazump me. Yeah, but R Roy wants to sell to you. He does, but Brenda's the one handling it all, and if someone puts in a whacking great offer, then she could persuade Roy to take it. I don't think he'd listen to her. I, uh, I don't think he'd do that to you. Yeah, but at some point you have to be pragmatic, don't you? Realistically, he's not going to sell to me if he can make a lot more money from someone else. <sighs> So I need to get my act together. Ideally, yes. I just have to think about the extra costs, though, Kirsty, and whether I can afford these repairs. But it might not cost as much as you think. Yeah, but whatever it is, I'll have to roll the costs into my mortgage. You know, it's just me. It's not like I can get a joint mortgage and share the burden. Well, I won't have a joint mortgage either, will I? Sorry, I know, sorry. It's just that there's three of us, you know, me and the boys, I mean... I just feel I've made so many mistakes with them. But you haven't. You know what I mean, I just want to get my life right, you know? Well, so do I. And if you're thinking of the boys, well, they're the ones who want you to buy it. You said they love this place. Yeah, they do. They, they really do. So, what exactly is it you're waiting for? I don't know how to say this without sounding harsh, but I'm starting to lose patience, Helen. I just am. I really, really need to sell this house and move on. Kind of, yep. That's okay. And, and these, are, these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production? Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one? Yep, that's... Actually mine, but... Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years. Um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever